Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-6004-4. This is the final iteration of the SCP-6004 case file. Item Number, SCP-6004 Object Class, Keter Special Containment Procedures The portion of Walamai National Park containing SCP-6004 a recently formed lake over a subterranean cavern with an approximate diameter of 450 meters is to be restricted from public access. Under no circumstance may civilian or governmental individuals enter the containment area. Should this occur, all persons involved are be detained, questioned and anesthetized before being released. A total of 27 Lloyd Tibbles consciousness nullification devices, derived from Project Mongoose, Stantron Reality Anchors and other technologies provided by donors and derived from assets, Lloyd Tibble's Consciousness Nullification Devices, LTC and these are designed to block an entity from accessing a conscious state of mind, locking them into states of consciousness ranging from sleep, coma or even a cessation of all awareness. For a more comprehensive summary of LTC and these, refer to document Lloyd Tibble CND 46004 have been installed around the perimeter of the containment area at a depth of 4-28 meters in an effort to ensure SCP-6004 does not exit its hibernation. Provisional Site 6004 has been constructed within the containment area for the maintenance and operation of the devices. To further ensure SCP-6004 does not breach containment, the Foundation is to continue to encourage world governments to limit expansion into wilderness areas. All human activity within these areas must be as non-destructive as possible. To ensure this, the new modern culture has adopted appropriate trends and practices under the covert guidance of the Foundation. A joint effort between the Foundation, the Global Occult Coalition and the MANA Charitable Foundation has been established to anomalously produce food, construction and technological materials rendered impractical to produce conventionally by these containment procedures. Description SCP-6004 is an extremely large serpentine entity currently measuring approximately 700 kilometers in length and 1.3 by 1017 kg in weight, currently in a state of hibernation within a submerged cavern located in the area of Walamai National Park, located in NSW, Australia. SCP-6004's appearance has been noted to shift in the past, and currently resembles an extremely large oxyuranus scutellatus, common taipan with features of Morelia spilota, carpet python. Its coloration has consistently been primarily black with dull prismatic stripes running vertically down its length, with a pale underbelly. SCP-6004 possesses a pair of curved bone or ivory horns and far larger and more numerous teeth than what is seen in non-anomalous snakes. Horns feature thousands of engraved depictions of wildlife. SCP-6004's physical capabilities have been extensively observed and studied. It is capable of exceptionally rapid movement, up to 2,700 km per hour on land and far greater in aquatic or airborne environments. This movement often creates large rifts in the terrain and tsunamis in the water. SCP-6004 exhibits strength and durability far beyond what its proportions would suggest able to exert bite forces powerful enough to crush anomalously hardened bunkers, destroy mountains via bodily impact and leap into the lower exosphere. It is able to fly within the upper troposphere in a fashion similar to swimming. Due to a paradoxical physiology, SCP-6004 is simultaneously tangible and intangible. This renders it largely impervious to conventional physical harm, with only several minutes of concentrated fire by Project Mongoose having been seen to superficially injure the entity. SCP-6004 displayed a compelling and direct influence over the natural world, up to and including a clear influence over the behavior of wild animals. During the latter parts of its previous activity attacks by various large and small fauna on humans were common, these attacks often involved multiple disparate species working in tandem, until apparently satisfied. This behavior has continued under specific circumstances after SCP-6004's hibernation, 
universally involving aggressive habitat expansion or activities such as recreational hunting acting as catalysts. It is extremely probable that any future conscious activity on the part of SCP-6004 may lead to the extinction of human civilization. For this reason, for the survival of society, it must remain asleep. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.